Good day, and welcome to today's snuff. I'm your host, Linnaeus, and on this episode, I'll be reviewing Snoove Rusty Trombone. Now, word on the street has it that uh, <laughs> this is a very aptly named uh, snuff uh, by Snoove over at Mr. Uh, Mr. Snuff. Uh, love these tins so much. The Snoof tins with the beveled edge here. Uh, they just have a real good, good feel to them. Absolutely. Some of my favorite tins for sure. Oh yeah. That has a very distinct, uh, like rusty trump if you look if you're in a environment where you can google something that is not safe for work and you type in rusty trombone because you don't know what that is uh just so you know um it has a very uh barnyardy uh kind of poop scent it's got a poop scent i gotta say that's exactly what it is. Um, <sighs> but not unpleasant, if that makes any sense whatsoever. A pleasant poopy scent. <laughs> like, <laughs> it's just so weird. So weird. But anyways, uh, you know, a, a nice... Um, medium fine grind to it good packing good clumping good moisture to it uh yeah let's let's go in for a hoot Ooh. oh nice Oh yeah, definitely gets right up there. All around, coats with the rusty tromboneedness of it. Has a, um, almost like a underlying kind of eucalyptus-y note to it happening there. That kind of uh, accompanies, yeah. I don't know if that's eucalyptus but that's kind of what's coming through for me. Um, some woodsiness as well too, like a very faint cedar kind of note coming through. Um, but definitely what shines through on this is the, uh, the, yeah, the, 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 the poopness of it. <laughs> I just can't get over it. Uh, very, very distinct. A very distinct uh, snuff. Um, what else does it have? Uh, there's there's also kind of like a, a faint bit of a like a souriness to it. Uh, a little little acrid, and I think that has to do with the fact that uh, so the rusty line uh, of of snoofs is all uh, it's all rustica. Uh, tobacco, sun-dried rustica, and um, I think some of that kind of sour tinginess, if I compare it at all to my own rustica plants, uh, leaves that I've uh, that I've processed, um, I think that's what's coming through. And I think I have, at least from my own base knowledge of uh, you know working with rustica. I think that slight souriness, uh, little, um, yeah, almost kind of, almost like straw coming through, but then also you get like a faint cedariness, uh, too. And that kind of builds into, um, like, I don't know if there's eucalyptus in this, and it definitely doesn't have that strong medicated scent to it at all. 
um, that I can uh, detect, but almost like the woodsiness of it, of, of, uh, of a eucalyptus. And then what's front and center is, um, yeah, is uh, the, the, the poop, the poop scent. It's, it's there. Yeah. Uh, I, I don't want to really say barnyard because it's not a barnyard fecal scent. Like it's like, a, a little more, um, a little more maybe household animal. Yeah. I don't know. Like it is so weird, but still very good. Like very good. Uh, it, it's comical. That's what it is. It's like, it's a comical scent and I enjoy it. Uh, and I'm sure you will too. I'll give another hoot. <laughs> Nicotine wise, definitely up there. Um, medium, medium high. Absolutely. Very pleasant. That's all I can say. <laughs> so anyways, I hope you enjoyed that review, that comical review. Uh, go ahead, hit the subscribe, and uh, till next time, happy snuffing, my friends.